Hi, Andrea Strang here at Gallery 222. I'm enjoying our new show with the work of Valerie Craig and Nathan Dernan. And now I am about to talk to Valerie Craig about what she brought us. Hi, Valerie, how are you? I'm great. Now, Valerie, for you who don't know, is an award-winning plain era artist. And that's a whole genre in itself, and you have captured it. Like, you are very well known in that area. To this show here at Gallery 222, is it plain air work? Is it studio work? What, what do we have here? It's a whole combination. Most of the paintings were at least started outside, if not finished outside. There are a few studio pieces, uh, but the real way I love to paint is that you would have no idea which is which. And you feel that you are in the moment in the landscape, and it doesn't matter whether I paint in the studio or actually out on location. Yes, well, it is gorgeous. I've seen you paint. You actually, uh, you know, get things down very quickly, and that's a whole decision-making process, isn't it, when you're yeah. outside? Yep, it's taken a long time to be able to be a faster painter, and in some ways, I'm a slower painter in the studio, because I have a chance to take time, think out the design, think out and plan what I might be doing. Outside, you have a limited time when things are really gonna change. Yeah. Other than if it's an overcast or kind of rainy day, you really have a lot more time because there's less change. Yes. And you travel. You have gone to Ireland. Where yeah. have you been lately with Plain Air? I just got back from Cape Ann, Massachusetts for a big Plain Air festival. It was fantastic. We were dealing with the remnants of Hurricane Ian. So it was wonderfully windy and cold. And uh, it was just so exciting to be other, around a lot of other artists who I admire. And then the summer I went to Ireland for the Wexford, uh, in we County Wexford's Ireland uh, uh, plein air event called Art in the Open, which I absolutely love. Yeah, oh my God, you just stay so busy. One of my favorite pieces is Mus Muskrat Haven. I love the frame, I love the colors. Tell me about that piece. Thanks, Andrea. The that piece was actually painted up on a friend's farm, and I do feel that some of my best work happens when I've been able to really tune in to a landscape, not just kind of arrive on the scene, paint, leave, go paint someplace else. And that's a place I've visited a lot, and I will paint there day after day, and kind of just hunker down by that creek. And the title, Muskrat Haven, came from, I heard a splash near me. And that also happens when you're so quiet, eventually the animals or whatever wildlife lives there, you become part of the environment. Oh, and cool. I saw something I didn't recognize, and I just guessed it might be a muskrat. Another day I saw a beaver. So it's really special, some of the things that oh, take place. that's great. I love it. Well, I love your work. I've loved your work for a long, long time. And I know Thank a lot you. of other people love your work. So we are here Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, if you want to come in in person to see the show. But we're online, and you can purchase online a couple clicks, and it's yours, at gallery222malvern.com.